The Glen Lion Hole continues to widen from the original 36 by 15 foot vertical shaft. The mine has been closed since 1958, but a partial collapse last January brought about the filling work that was going on. Threatened our unfinished apartments, which would be operated by Luzerne County. Four future homes sit right on the edge of the hole. Old miners who work down the 730 foot shaft say they aren't surprised by the subsidence. Joe Cray doesn't believe the county housing project should be built here. If you were building, you wouldn't have put it here. No, not, I, not, not this building here, expect me, especially for the disabled. This building should never have been here. The Pennsylvania Bureau of Mines is keeping tabs on the hole's outward progress, ordering a safety fence put up. It's possible that it could expand uh, another 30 feet or so. The firm contracted to fill the shaft in Glen Lyon had only planned to use about 100,000 cubic feet of stone. Now they will have to use much more. The precautions are being taken to ensure that none of the curious goes near the hole. Mine officials believe it'll take three or four days of caving in before the filling can resume. Bob Costantini, Newswatch 16, Glen Lyon.